Hey, what do you say there, guys? Well, you can't say much, can you? We're not having a live conversation on the phone, which is becoming a lost art anyway, because people are obsessed with texting, and I am not because I have a flip phone. Anyway, uh, a few years back, I took a picture of this, or a couple of pictures of this early uh, Cadillac sedan, the Ville, which is dirty as hell, but at least to know it's enjoyed. And it's here in the Point St. Charles area. And um, again, I think it's an 80, 81, maybe 82. I'd have to check online for the colors. And uh, it's funny because, oh yeah. Yeah, man. Good old 6.2, 8.2 liter Detroit. Anyway, it's in the same condition as I uh, photographed it about five, six years ago. Um, and I've said it before and I'll say it again here now in 2017, it's become rare to see a big American boat like this being driven daily. Or even if it's not daily, but almost daily. And uh, regardless of it being, uh, as we say in French, crate, which is filthy in English. Ooh, it's got a broken, broken uh, auxiliary light there, or turn signal. You know, one of the two pictures I took of this car, it's interesting, they're both great pictures, because one of them I think was in front of a church near, near here, and the other one was actually on a bridge near here, a really old bridge, it's just a great picture. It's the kind of picture I'd like to get enlarged one day, actually. Uh, I think that person's retired. Yeah. And uh, I got a little bit of time anyway before my, my bus comes. So I could, always, I could always use some content on my channel. And uh, there you go, there's my friend Juan's garage there. I just uh, sold him a uh, 1939 L&M cigarette ad with a uh, GM Aerotrain. Like that color though, eh? You know, I bet you if I bought that, hey, Roma Foods, they used to have a top kick. You know, I bet you if I owned this car, I could buff that paint right out, man. Make it look really nice. Oh, look at all this fucking traffic coming here. Jesus, Murphy. It's funny, I like seeing it like this, with the hubcap missing and it's filthy. You know why? Because, hey, there I am. Hey, everybody. It's because, you know, years ago, not too many years ago, let's say about 10 years ago or more, used to see cars like this all the time, you know, faded paint, cracked paint, rust, dirty, you know, worn out tires, hubcap missing, hubcaps missing, you name it, you know, and that's just, you don't really see this anymore. And the stupid fucking environmentally correct world we live in. Look at that, what does that say? Raymond Pontiac Buick. Holy shit, man, this car is all the way from the gas bay. Damn, that's far. Well, that might take the cake, actually, for the car that I filmed the most furthest away, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. It says d'elegance. I thought it was Sedan de Ville. Sedan de Ville d'elegance. Yeah, because you see, the more expensive model of this, which was almost the same thing but more luxurious, was the Fleetwood Brome. One of the characteristics of the Fleetwood Brome was right here. You had a chrome molding over here. They ran all the way down to the front, and I think the, the rocker panel moldings were actually bigger as well at the bottom. It's a little bit more plush, you know. Oh, interior looks really good. I rode in a lot of these cars, you know. Um, why not? They're good cars. They're not great cars, but they're good cars. And, uh, you know, actually, if you don't drive them too hard, they might have decent economy. And there's that Ford Econoline again. Yeah, yeah, I see it at my, uh, my friend's garage. Anyway, that's about it. My bus is going to be coming in soon, so i got to wrap it up there. i got some of my wares on the sidewalk there. and uh, Hope you're all doing well out there in YouTube land on this fucking mud ball we call Earth. And uh, take it easy. Bye-bye.